all luck is used to meet them. Then Su Yu Chen gradually discovered that, the senior sisters all hide an unknown side, and most importantly, they are not human. But it's okay. When misfortune is covered by luck, they are all my wings. Keywords of the novel My senior sister, not a human. No pop-ups, my senior sister is not human. Download the complete TXT collection, my senior sister is not a human. Latest chapter reading Chapter 1 Bad things you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Bad things people always say that once you go to college, you can do whatever you want, go to internet cafes as you please, don't worry if you don't eat on time, and have a fair and honest relationship and open a house. However, ideals are full, reality is bone-like. After spending an hour completing the enrollment report, Su Yu Chen turned around and glanced at the queue that had just been lined up. At first glance, he saw that his young energy was too strong. He knew that the Department of Magic Engineering was a monk's temple, but he still chose this department. Because this is the result of my younger sister hugging and acting coquettishly. Brother, women outside are very dangerous, especially college girls, so for the sake of my brother's personal safety. Apply to the Department of Magic Engineering. Please, brother okay. Anyway, the purpose of coming here is not for future career planning, so I was defeated by my sister's coquettish attack. However, I did not expect that there were so few girls. Is it enough for the six classes in the Magic Engineering Department to add up to twenty? With a light sigh, Su Yu Chen walked out of the school gate as the sun set in the west. It seems that I really don't have much affinity for women. From childhood until now, the one who played with him the longest was his younger sister, followed by childhood sweethearts, and then disappeared. It is still unknown why other girls suddenly became estranged while playing well. By the time I was unlucky enough to walk back to the city, the sky had already darkened and there were not many people on the night road that should have been lively. Ding vampires appear ahead, please be careful. As Su Yu Chen muttered to himself, as if he had a cheat system, he laughed. I almost fell just now, so I shouldn't have been unlucky again, the smile on his face gradually disappeared. Mmm, good, so strange feeling. Your performance is great, sister. I really like your blood. You're so good just take a nap and you'll be fine. Gollum Gollum. A subtle swallowing sound. In the alley where the streetlights cannot enter, there is a flickering ambiguous pink glow, and the rapid breathing is mixed with a soft hum. It's quite charming. Just listen to this sound and you can eat three bowls of rice. Su Yu Chen stopped on the sidewalk and looked at the alley entrance to the left. The smile is gradually becoming abnormal. The vampire who recently targeted beautiful girls to commit crimes is a female, portraying the terrifying act of vampire as so thought.provoking I'm very curious. When pretending to be a passerby and sneaking over, take a sneak glance and walk lightly to avoid being noticed. Even if you are caught, it's okay, after all, this vampire announced by the police only targets beautiful girls. Moreover, he is not afraid of vampires. Su Yu Chen held his breath and walked past without making a sound, his gaze fixed on the alley. The girl who fell asleep against the wall, although very cute, did not attract more attention than the one in front of her. The golden long hair poured down like moonlight, shining brightly. The skin on the side face was incredibly white, and the darkness could not cover it. The deep red sleeveless gauze skirt envelopes the delicate and delicate body that looks like a peak on the side of the ridge. Under the swaying hem of the skirt, the legs wrapped in black stockings are straight, slender, and full of elasticity. Red high heels wrapped in black silk and jade feet exude a seductive charm. The finger smeared with scarlet nail polish wipes on the corner of the lip, the tip of the tongue licks the blood on the tip of the finger belly, flexibly hooks into the mouth and swallows, and the corner of the mouth raises a moving smile. Among the blood race that is known for her beauty, this female vampire's appearance is definitely among the top. The bloodline looks very noble. Su Yu Chen continued to move forward, 
feeling a bit regretful because the thought that provoking incident seemed to have come to an end. Next, just walk over, but, the evening breeze came slowly, and the maple leaves, leaving their branches, danced gracefully, landing just right under their stepped right foot, making a crisp sound. Without any warning or reason, it's just such a coincidence. Unlucky. Click. The sound of thin and fragile maple leaves falling apart is extremely clear in the quiet night. Su Yuchen's eyes twitched and he felt a gaze cast from the alley. It's so late, little brother. You're not staying at home and not afraid of being targeted by vampires who have been around recently. Duh, duh, duh. The sound of high heels touching the ground was crisp and pleasant, but when Su Yuchen turned his head, the sound suddenly stopped. I met her blood-red eyes and saw her appearance clearly. The appearance that leans towards Westerners is crystal clear like jade, like flowers, trees, and snow. Perhaps it was because I had just finished sucking blood and felt satisfied, my cheeks were like a crescent moon and dizzy, beautiful and irresistible. The fragrant breeze rushed in, strong but not choking. My little brother is very handsome. Ah no, he's very bold. He keeps staring at me, sister. Sister, I'm going to be too shy to be seen by you. The blood-colored eyes scrutinized the human in front of her, very handsome, in line with her aesthetic. And the smell on this human body was also too pleasant, wasn't it? Why does such a pleasant fragrance appear on a human male? Not good, not good. Smelling the scent from him up close, my body had a feeling of not good, wanting to hold him in my arms and ravage him fiercely. Gollum. I couldn't help but swallow my saliva and instinctively raised my hand to wipe the corners of my mouth. There was no saliva. Looking at her, Su Yuchen's eyes twitched. Is she hungry? Isn't it about targeting beautiful girls? Why do you want to dry my eyes? The vampire, who noticed his loss of composure, gently put down his hand and stared at Su Yuchen with bloodshot eyes. He spoke softly, did you see it? What did you see? Su Yuchen pretended to be confused. The vampire swallowed his saliva, wondering why he thought the human expression was cute. Because it was so fragrant. Why isn't he a beautiful and lovely girl? Forget it. No matter what. At least it's a good dot looking man, just close your eyes and consider him a woman. Because he really smells well, he has never smelled such a fragrant smell before. She's too greedy, too greedy. Little brother, she leaned forward, gently holding Su Yuchen's cheeks with both hands. Her seductive red lips pressed against his ear, exhaling like orchids, and her voice was seductive, Sister, how about taking you to do bad things? Author Mushroom, this book and system, with multiple female leads, has completed this work with two million words, rest assured to follow, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Sister, you don't want your vampire identity exposed, do you? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Sister, you don't want your vampire identity exposed, do you? The period before and after the full moon of the mid-autumn festival is when the power of the night is deepest and strongest, and the blood race is filled with unparalleled desire for blood. An uncontrollable desire. Like an animal in heat. Christina New Moon felt that she must have been favored by the goddess of luck and met such a pleasant-smelling human male while foraging at night. It's true that the blood of a pure girl tastes good, but it's not enjoyable to drink. Of course, it's important to be gentle with cute and pure girls and avoid excessive blood consumption that can lead to physical problems. The feeling of not being in one's own country and being half-hungry leads to having to watch blood-related videos before going to bed every night, which is extremely agonizing. I have already completed my goal tonight and am ready to go back, but I never expected such an unexpected joy. I have never sucked male blood before. But he really smells good. Little brother, you are the most fragrant creature I have ever smelled, in the dark alley, Christia lightly hooked Su Yuchen's chin with her fingers. Treat Su Yuchen like a girl. Make some physical contact, 
and then create a wonderful illusion. When the other party sinks into the illusion, complete the blood sucking. A wonderful experience at both the physical and mental levels. Her blood red eyes shone with a faint radiance, and her smile was charming and brilliant. Her red lips flickered through the forest's white fangs, adding a touch of horror to her delicate appearance. Sister, Su Yu Chen said in a thoughtful tone, can we pretend we haven't seen anyone tonight? No way, little brother. Christina leaned in his ear again, you're so delicious, sister. I don't want to let you go, let alone. Her voice became eerie as she said, little brother, you saw my face. They are afraid that you will report them. Don't worry, sister, I will be very gentle, her beautiful legs wrapped in black stockings gently caressed the inside of his thighs, and Christina's eyes flashed with a mockery. Little brother, you're also looking forward to it. Have you ever sucked a man's blood? Su Yu Chen asked curiously. Little brother, you're the first one. It's not just blood, there's even more wonderful things. Christina licked her red lips with an indescribable charm. You're also the first one, right? A virgin has a strong aura of blood. Sister's nose is very sharp, Su Yu Chen looked at her innocently and said, but I don't want to be sucked dry by you. What should I do? Christia blinked her blood-red eyes and spoke in a more gentle and charming voice, don't think about those unnecessary things in such a happy moment. Christia looked playfully at Su Yu Chen, who lowered her head. She originally wanted to savor this exquisite delicacy slowly, but what if she was targeted by other blood races in this city? She doesn't want to cause conflict, it's not fear, it's just a feeling of trouble. After all, my current self has sealed off some of my memories and strength, and it is only with the personality that I should have in this age group that I have lurked into this city. And tasting unprecedented deliciousness, of course, comes secretly. Of course, the most important thing is that he is male, although he is very handsome, his gender is still male. If it were a girl, if it weren't in this city, she would be happy to let him become her first heterosexual lover, sign a blood contract, and become her own blood attendant. But unfortunately, it's in this city. However, for the sake of this human being's fragrance, personally appearing in the illusion can be considered as the last gentle benefit to his young life. In the dimly lit alley, the pink and tender light once again shone, warm as if soaking in a hot spring, and the pores of the whole body seemed to open. Christia rested her chin on Su Yu Chen's shoulder and turned her head to look at his handsome profile when she lowered her head. Opening her red lips lightly and exhaling like a orchid, she said, Little brother, sister is taking you to do something bad that you understand. Are you happy? Su Yu Chen raised his head and tilted it again, happy. Christia blinked and laughed even more happily, don't you understand? Don't you ever have yourself? Sister, I really found a treasure. I'm not happy, sister. How could that be? Aren't I pretty, sister? Being beautiful is being beautiful, and I'm sure you're happy to do something bad with your sister, but... Su Yu Chen smiled at the corner of his mouth and said, I don't want to do it just once. Looking at the malicious smile on the corner of his mouth, Christina's inner alarm sounded, and without any hesitation, she let go of him and stepped back. But, it's too late. Pop. Su Yu Chen grabbed her wrist and slammed his left knee towards her lower abdomen. Bang. The dull sound and deep red magic barrier protected Christia's lower abdomen. Sister, your speed is really fast. Your waist skills must be excellent, right? Su Yu Chen's smile at the corner of his mouth lit up a bit more. Don't resist, sister, Christia's pupils contracted and she said, you. The human in front of her suddenly disappeared without a trace, and her face changed slightly. With her left foot as the fulcrum, she kicked her right leg wrapped in black silk backwards. Pop. I was held and pinched in pain. It feels great, sister. Su Yu Chen forcefully released her right leg, bullied her body and grabbed her left and right wrists, twisting them behind her. The next second, pushing her forward, Christina's upper body pressed against the wall of the alley, 
displaying an incredibly beautiful obtuse angle curve in both her upper and lower bodies. The movements were smooth and fluid, giving Christina no chance to react. Sister, in that case. I would be too happy. Su Yu Chen leaned down and whispered in her ear. Even the confidence discovered by vampires comes from the powerful strength honed after reincarnation. I am very strong. Let go. Sharp fangs protruded from her mouth, and a blood-red magic swept through her. Christina's heart was filled with mocked anger. I want you to die. Eh. Pop. A crisp sound. Christia's expression froze for a moment. The noble bloodline of her Grand Crescent clan was actually slapped on the buttocks by a human virgin. Shame. It's a great shame. Are you patting my butt? I'm going to kill you. You. Pop. Su Yu Chen straightened up and looked down at her curvaceous back from a high position. This vampire sister, please figure it out, he said his voice was full of mockery, unregistered vampire. Sister, you don't want your vampire identity exposed, do you? Author Mushroom. If you like this book, I hope everyone can continue reading it at the starting point in the new book period. Let me have a few more rounds of recommendations. Thank you, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Turns out to be a senior sister you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Turns out to be a senior sister, sister, you don't want your vampire identity exposed, do you? Su Yu Chen smiled and directly grasped Christia's seven inches. In this city, as a vampire without registering as a blood clan, she obviously holds some kind of undisclosed secret, so she absolutely does not want her identity to be exposed. Christia no longer struggled and remained silent. Then, the storm after the silence. The blood red light, as thick as blood, surged between, as cold as a venomous snake. On the dark ground, a blood red magic spread out with hands dripping with blood entwined around Su Yuchen's legs, touching and pulling. Click. The sound of a broken bone. Struggling with a broken wrist, Christia escaped from Su Yuchen's grip, like a flickering light, and quickly distanced herself from Su Yuchen. Christia stared at Su Yuchen, gradually recovering from her injuries and restoring the noble elegance of the blood clan. The ungrateful virgin. She raised her chin and smiled again, Sister, I kindly gave you a chance to do bad things with my sister. You dare to resist even if you take an inch. It's really not cute at all. Do I have to wait for my sister to suck me dry? Su Yu Chen ignored the bloody hands gripping his calves and said, Bad things are allowed, dead things are not allowed. Death is a small matter, and it is unbearable social death to appear on the news the next day in a state of excessive indulgence and death. Look, this person rushed to death in the alley. Who wants to hear such an evaluation? Who would like their epitaph to be engraved with the words Chong Dai? To avoid such embarrassing incidents, it is necessary to engage in legitimate defense. Dead virgin, do you still want to teach me how to do things? Christina remained expressionless. You have to pay the price for your impoliteness just now. Su Yu Chen raised his right hand and brushed it over his nose, saying, Why don't you find this impolite thing that this hand did? Christina's eyes were cold, still smelling. Is he a virgin? He wants to smell everything but at the same time, she also stared at his right hand without blinking, waving her hand and the scent wafting over. It was really fragrant. Gollum. Unconsciously swallowing, Christia forced herself to shift her gaze away and look at the soles of Su Yu Chen's feet. One bloody hand after another failed to pull him into the blood domain. His blood red eyes narrowed slightly, it seemed that it was not an easy task to take down this human. But it's not easy to find such an ultimate delicacy. We can't just let it go. A virgin. Christia had a sudden inspiration and a charming smile bloomed again on her face. How could a virgin block her gentle attack? If it's hard, then come soft. You can't cure a human like young person without believing it. Little brother, 
In an instant, Christia regained her magic and walked elegantly towards Su Yuchen, saying, Don't be so fierce. Sister was just teasing you, and of course, you need to savor this delicacy slowly and slowly with a thin stream of water. Standing in front of Su Yuchen again, Christina reached out and touched his cheek. Great, no resistance. He is indeed a dead virgin, and he immediately became obsessed with everything he wanted and refused to resist. Sister, how can I bear to kill you? She, who has never used a gentle and charming voice before, feels a bit frustrated in her heart towards men. Not only did I take advantage of myself, but I also had to wait with such an attitude. When I turn you into a blood attendant, I will punish you with my feet on your face and let you know what humiliation is. Christia, who was thinking about how to punish Su Yuchen in her mind, remained unchanged in her expression and tone. Little brother, let's start over and have a bad relationship with my sister. Eh. Pop. The crisp sound was extremely obvious in the quiet alley. Just now, it was one hand, but this time, both hands hit it simultaneously. Christina's delicate body trembled, her mind fell into a brief blank. He, 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 he actually took another photo. Sister, you said it would be fine long ago, so I'm not polite. Su Yu Chen looked at the stunning face with a smile, and the feel of the skirt was really great. Christia was really angry and had her noble bloodline subjected to such humiliation twice in a row. You damn human. Sharp fangs protruded from her mouth, and Christina became angry with embarrassment. I want to. Hey. The black silk leg softened, and the high heels made two chaotic yet crisp noises when they touched the ground. Christina's body is short, how could it be like this? What a strange feeling, Pooh. I want to suck your blood dry. A blood red light swept out of Christia's body, and countless bloody hands stretched out from the raging magic, intending to tear Su Yu Chen into pieces. But, Su Yu Chen, who was drifting back and distancing himself, took out his phone and took several photos in a row, jokingly saying, Come on. I want to suck you dry. Come on. Su Yu Chen raised his phone and operated it repeatedly with his thumb. As long as he continued to press it, Christina's photo would be reported to the police backstage. I'm going to kill you. Christina gritted her teeth. You come over. Su Yu Chen raised his phone. Christia's breathing was rapid and she was angry. I want to unload you. Have the ability to take out human blood and fight on your own. I'm angry, but I'm so powerless. Without registration in this city, of course, there is an important purpose. How can one achieve this goal even if their identity is exposed? Christia stared at Su Yu Chen, but she couldn't fully exert her strength yet. The current power cannot take him down before he sends photos. Christia gritted her teeth and looked at her, you just wait to be chased to death by the blood clan. I exclaimed. Su Yu Chen smiled and approached the screen with his thumb. The vampire's mental state is not stable as it approaches the night of the full moon during the mid-autumn festival, as can be seen from the loss of calmness and cursing. You. Wait a moment. Christina clenched her fist for a while and softened her tone. Don't be impulsive, it's easy to say something. The hot blood inside her body made the color of her eyes even darker. Cannot be impulsive, cannot be impulsive, there are more important things to do. With a smile on her face, Christina walked toward Su Yu Chen again and said, Little brother, sister hasn't asked your name yet. Don't move, Su Yu Chen issued a warning. Take one more step forward and I'll send out your photo. Christia stopped and gritted her teeth, dead virgin, don't be ignorant. What do you want to do? I'm just passing by, it's my sister. You want to suck me, how can you say what I want to do? Christia took a deep breath, her voice tinged with a hint of coquettishness. Sister was wrong, could you please delete the photo? She promised you everything you wanted, okay? Promise everything. Su Yu Chen looked at her graceful figure wrapped in a red dress and said, Then you. No way. 
Christina directly rejected, how could she let a human male see her precious body? I'm not finished yet. Su Yuchen took a step forward and walked up to her. He found something very interesting. During the time he spent with her, there were no unfortunate events such as inexplicable falls or strange things falling down. Is it okay to shake my sister's hand? Is that all? Christina blinked. Let's do this for now. Su Yuchen's expression was serious. Christina's eyes twitched, what's this guy up to? But maybe this is an opportunity. Glancing at his phone without leaving a trace, she extended her left hand and said, Little brother, you're such a little rascal. You're threatening your sister in such a way. Su Yuchen held her hand directly, the temperature was lower than that of a normal person, and besides that, there was no feeling of inner trembling. Christia was stunned for a moment, just a simple handshake. Do not hook your palms, wipe your hands, or anything like that. I am so beautiful. Are you still not a man? Looking at Su Yuchen's serious expression, Christia pursed her red lips and suddenly made an attempt to directly damage his phone. Sister, mobile phones are very expensive. Su Yuchen, who had regained his senses, clenched her left hand tightly in his palm and threw her forcefully towards the wall, saying, I'm going to send it. You. Don't, Christina whispered, leaning against the wall. Sister, you are really. Shu. The fierce wind caused Su Yuchen to immediately retreat and almost be hit by her black knee, causing her lower body to fail. It's not over yet. In front of her, a pair of blood red eyes were within reach, and Christina's speed was much faster than before. Truly showing her determination to kill him. Rather than being constantly led by the nose by this damn human, it would be better to die and be caught. I can't help but fail to achieve my goal. Faced with Christia's determination, Su Yuchen calmly took a few steps back and gently waved his right hand, ready to attack her buttocks again, pop. It wasn't that I bumped into Christia's buttocks, but rather unlucky enough to bump into the corner of the trash can. Although the edges were not so sharp, a cut was made in the palm of the hand, and a splash of blood flew in mid-air. Christia's resolute gaze suddenly shifted away from his face, watching the blood floating in the air. She turned her direction, opened her mouth, stretched out her tongue, and caught the blood a flowing in subconscious action. One second, Su Yuchen was still roast that he was really unlucky. The next second, he couldn't help laughing. Sister, are you a dog? Christia lowered her head, her long golden hair covering her shy and flushed face. She didn't want it either. But his blood is really fragrant. Xiang's mind has not yet reacted, but his body has already taken action. Acting like a dog in front of a human. Ah ah ah, let me die. Christia crouched down with her head in her arms, her shoulders twitching. Are you crying? Su Yuchen walked over vigilantly, watching her body twitch and twitch. Her figure had improved and she looked beautiful when she cried. This sister. I'm going to poke you blind. Christina pounced and shook Su Yuchen's neck violently. Forget it for me. Obviously, shyness made her forget her identity, like an ordinary little girl. Cough. Poking me blind is not pinching my neck, Su Yuchen grabbed her hands and looked into her eyes. The blood-red eyes were watery both because they had absorbed blood and because they were shy. You don't remember anything, do you? Christina broke free from his hand and looked pitifully at Su Yuchen, who was slightly taller than herself. Right. Right. If it weren't for the performance, I really wouldn't have been able to withstand it. Right, 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 I don't remember anything, but... Su Yuchen grabbed her wrist again and said, Sister, what did your hand sneak into my pocket? Do you want a phone? Christia's face darkened as she opened her mouth and bit towards his neck. Sister, you are really a playwright, Su Yuchen joked while hiding. Let me take a sip, just a sip, okay? I don't want to pursue your disrespect for my rudeness. 
Christina finally realized that this human is just indulging in the act of coquettishness. It seems that he doesn't have the same composure as before. The way he panicked and avoided himself is really cute. And they haven't launched a counterattack or slapped their own buttocks yet, instead they are hiding back and forth. Is this the normal behavior of a virgin? Don't make a fuss, be good, sister is very gentle. Believe it, you're a ghost. Su Yu Chen dodged while patting her hand as she tried to steal her phone. Did you hear any sound? Don't struggle anymore, it will be over soon as you look up and count the stars. There's really a sound. My little brother tends to shift the topic when he's shy, he's so cute, it's the whoa whoa sound of a police car. It's okay, just take a bite and leave. Don't move. Why is it like drinking some kind of medicine when you're drinking blood? Su Yu Chen took a deep breath and shouted loudly, is there any suction here? Christia covered his mouth and said, dead virgin, what do you want? Su Yu Chen ignored her and took a bite from her hand, continuing to shout loudly, vampire. Um. Are you really sick? You don't even want any benefits, are you stupid? Christia punched him in the abdomen in anger and embarrassment, then pushed him against the wall the next second. I don't understand good people, I don't even want to give you benefits. Wait for me. Listening to the approaching police car bell, Christina glared at him fiercely and turned around before leaving, you'll be unlucky soon. I still don't understand good people, and you're not human. Su Yu Chen rubbed her stomach and murmured, looking back at the direction she had disappeared. Hmm. Crouch down and pick up a small notebook from where Christia was just located. Graduate Certificate. Opening his documents and glancing at them, Su Yu Chen smiled and said, So it's senior sister. Or graduate student sister, Tia senior sister. However, even though she is a blood race, the information on her graduate certificate is actually human. She has been able to conceal her identity in the Sky City for so many years, and there are quite a few secrets hidden in her body. Putting his graduate certificate into his pocket, Su Yu Chen looked at the wound he had just scraped on the trash can and pondered. During the time when I was alone with vampires, unfortunately the frequency was not that high. Frequent choking while drinking water, inexplicably falling while walking, looking up and seeing billboards falling down, time travel. Ah uh, no, reincarnated into this world for 18 years, he has become accustomed to these frequent misfortunes. Graduated from a law major and became a lawyer, defending a plaintiff who was bullied by a certain criminal group. The second trial overturned the first trial defense, and the main culprit of the defendant's criminal group changed from a suspended death sentence to an immediate execution. He gained a great reputation and had a bright future. Then one night, he was ambushed from behind by the wanted criminal accomplice of the defendant, and the white knife went in and out with the red knife. Then, he reincarnated with memories. Born with memories in this world from birth, one year old to eighteen years old. For eighteen years, bad luck has been like the wind, often accompanying him. Why there is such an unfortunate physique, Su Yu Chen is not clear, it is beyond his cognitive scope. If you really need an explanation, it would probably be everything is arranged by the gate of fate. And after just coming into contact with that vampire, only the unfortunate incident of being scratched by the trash can happen. Based on past experience of unfortunate frequency, this unfortunate incident is too short and too rare. However, it cannot be ruled out that encountering a vampire is a possibility of great misfortune. Encountering a vampire is considered unfortunate, so being teased by a beautiful vampire sister and eating her tofu is considered unfortunate. Su Yu Chen was thinking while scanning the vending machine to buy a bottle of water to drink. The payment was successful on the phone screen, but the water did not reach the shipping port. I thought my luck had improved a bit, but I had no hope. He kicked the vending machine with his foot up, but the water still didn't come out, but the vending machine inexplicably fell towards him. Take the money and don't do anything. Why are you trying to silence me? Su Yu Chen grabbed the vending machine and put it back in its original position. 
The world was too dangerous, so she quickly went home and slept soundly. As for the vampire senior sister. I'll trouble her again when I enroll, after all, I have a handle in my hand. It's probably a handle like, Tia, you don't want your vampire identity exposed, do you? And just as I took a step forward, the blood-red light flickering behind him made him instinctively look back. As soon as I turned around, the blood-red light in the alley where I was just now gradually disappeared. Didn't you leave? Just thinking about it this way, the urgent alarm bell was accompanied by the sound of brakes, and the dazzling lights made him squint his eyes. Raise your hand. Su Yuchen's lips twitched as he remembered the vampire's words earlier, you'll be unlucky soon. It turned out to be framing and framing. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Turns out to be a junior you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 4 Turns out to be a junior The flickering lights intertwined with red and blue flickered in the darkness, and the rapid sound of police sirens tore apart the silence. The members of the Anti-Demon Judgment Organ under Beijing Opera looked vigilantly at Su Yu Chen standing in front of the vending machine. The beautiful girl brought out from the alley, the recently exposed blood, and the young man who is currently only 10 meters away from the crime scene and does not return home at night. Very suspicious. Faced with their imposing presence, Su Yu Chen calmly spoke, I. Bang. The roaring bullets passed by my ears, shattering the glass of the vending machine behind me. The uniformed white dog-headed man, led by them, stared at Su Yu Chen with a gloomy face and said, Shut up, if you have anything to say, keep it and come back later. Vice Captain, he may not be the culprit. Picking out beautiful girls, especially other people from the eastern continent who are like this kind of beast. Deputy Captain Shack grinned and his bulldog-like face appeared terrifying. It seems like a garbage that has been turned into a blood attendant who can't control his thirst for blood and has been committing crimes all along. He walked up to Su Yu Chen and said, Kid, it's your misfortune to meet me. Recently, unregistered vampires have been committing crimes one after another, resulting in working overtime late every day. This frustration must be vented. Su Yu Chen did not continue to speak, and any language was futile in front of the law enforcement officers with a mixed race discriminatory mentality generated by humans and monsters. After all, this sub race is not favored by both monsters and humans, and is considered at the bottom of this city. Most sub races are somewhat abnormal in their hearts and enjoy venting their anger after gaining power. As for ignoring their departure, it will only further expand one's suspicion and lead to a series of troubles in the future. I came to college, not to fight. Kid, I've dealt with too many dangerous individuals. You're not the first or the last one, come with me. Shaq grabbed Su Yu Chen's shoulder and forcefully handcuffed him in the police car, saying, It's your misfortune that I caught you for committing a crime. When you go back, you'll know how much it costs to break the law in this city. Ziz. The rapid sound of tires rubbing against the ground made Shaq instinctively lift his head as he started the vehicle. At night is the time for a large truck to travel, and at this moment, a fully loaded truck is rushing towards us. Big, grass. It's a bit broken. Su Yu Chen looked calmly at the rushing truck, which was why he walked home instead of taking the bus. Once other people are also involved in his own misfortune, the scope of intervention in misfortune is not limited to him. Turning his head to look at Shaq, it wasn't encountering you was my misfortune, but encountering me was your misfortune. Roar. With a roar, outside the glass of the police car, the sound waves condensed into a curse, spreading ripples from small to large, enveloping the large truck rushing towards the side of the co-pilot one after another. Click, click, click in the twisted sound of the iron sheet, the front of the large truck was directly shattered into crumbs by the sound waves. As the driver was shaken out, the huge carriage immediately disintegrated, and the full load of goods scattered on the road with a crackling sound. The car accident did not occur, and the truck driver only suffered some scratches. Magic formed through language as a medium. Verbal magic. Shaq's face was extremely gloomy, 
how unlucky he was today. The vampire attack occurred in one's own jurisdiction and was now almost crushed into meat by a truck. Fortunately, I have some strength. Damn it. With a low scolding, he picked up the walkie-talkie and informed the transportation department, there was a car accident on the North Ring Bridge, and the truck driver was slightly injured. Can you come and deal with it? Didn't you wake up? I can't see the number of the Demon Judgment Institution. Why don't you come and deal with it quickly? Pop. Shaq forcefully slammed the walkie-talkie to the handbrake position and yelled out the window, take the victim to the hospital, see if you can ask anything, and then continue patrolling. After speaking, he slammed the accelerator and went out. Several members of the demon judgment mechanism exchanged a glance at the demon blade and could only execute orders. Who would let the mixed race shack be the deputy captain? On the tall building, Christina, with her blonde hair flying, looked at the distant members of the demon blade and snorted softly, dead virgin, let me be interrogated for my sister. She is not worried that Su Yu Chen will expose herself. If she wants to expose herself, she just uploaded her photo to the police backstage. As for letting him suffer a bit in the demon judgment mechanism. I can only think about it. With that kind of strength, how could he have no background? I'm so full. She patted her stomach, her blood-red eyes showing a hint of greed. Although she only drank a little of Su Yu Chen's blood, she felt a sense of fullness after a long time. Christia doesn't know why his blood has this miraculous effect, but dead virgin, sooner or later will find you out. Sky University, dormitory building for female graduate students. When Christia returned, her blood-colored eyes had turned golden, and a pair of red-framed glasses was placed on her nose bridge, concealing countless charms. Pushing the door open, I walked into my dormitory and saw my roommate, Phyllis CIA, leaning against the blanket while playing with her phone and using a straw to suck blood from the bag. My roommate is a vampire, or a vampire from the upper clan of the West Asian clan, but I don't know if she is also a vampire. Tia, you're back. Phyllis's eyes lit up as she looked at Tia's blood-colored eyes, which were a bit hot. Where did you go to play? Research topic. Tia took off her coat and hung it up. How many bags of blood do you drink a day now? Seven bags, but not enough. Who made mid-autumn festival come soon? Phyllis sighed, and the quality of the blood provided by the school is average. The university founded by us humans is willing to provide you with blood, that's good. Tia, could you also provide me with some? Your blood must be delicious, I really want you to be my blood attendant. Phyllis licked her lips, eager to drink Tia's blood for a long time, but couldn't withstand it. Human beings nowadays are becoming more and more powerful from generation to generation. I'm standing here, do you dare to drink? Tia clasped her arms around her chest and raised her chin provocatively. I. Phyllis sighed, not daring. Once a vampire studying at Sky University sucks human blood, for any reason, they will be forcibly expelled from Sky City. Feeling depressed, she bit the straw hard and sucked hard at the blood in the bag. I have an internal message, Phyllis pointed her phone screen at Christia. It seems that the recently committed vampire who was not registered in Sky City has been caught. Is that right? Christina smiled at the corner of her mouth. Did your friend in the demon judgment mechanism tell you that? Mmm. Phyllis looked back at her phone and said, hmm. She called me back. It seems she caught me wrong. Is it an individual or a freshman in our school who is being caught? Freshman student. Christina's eyes lit up. Which department is it from? What's its name? Like us, the Department of Magic Engineering is called Su Yuchen. Christia sat on her bed, licking her red lips with the tip of her tongue. So he's a junior. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Encountering me, it's your misfortune you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Encountering me, it's your misfortune the roaring alarm bell rang throughout the night, and Su Yuchen, 
the co-pilot, deleted photos of Christia from his phone one by one. He was curious about the purpose of the upper vampire who disguised himself as an adult and infiltrated the Sky City. In addition, in order to verify one thing, she will not be exposed for the time being. What are you doing? Shaq withdrew his gaze from the vehicles he had avoided all the way at night. With a slightly better mood, he saw Su Yuchen's movements and immediately shouted, Put down your phone. After deleting the photo, Su Yuchen slept on the screen, observing the outside environment and being prepared to avoid it at any time. He knows that this journey will not be peaceful because, green light ahead, Shaq pressed harder on the accelerator, and the police car roared out. And then, grass, grandpa. On the right, a car that had failed to break while running a red light collided directly with the co-pilot. Shaq slammed the steering wheel hard and used his verbal magic to avoid the collision. Then he picked up the walkie-talkie again with his right hand and said, at the intersection of Hepping West Street, Turtle Sun who ran the red light almost hit me. Come and deal with it. Damn it. Shaq's expression is becoming increasingly gloomy. Why is today so unlucky? Grass. After driving another distance, he cursed again and stepped on the brake to make a lateral stop, Duong. The sharp corners of the huge billboard made a hard hole on the road. If it doesn't stop, the right roof will definitely be scrapped. Bang! Shaq slammed the steering wheel hard and said, Damn it, what the hell did you see today? His inner anger grew stronger and stronger, and as he restarted the vehicle, he cursed softly, I insist on breaking the legs of the advertising sponsor. Su Yu Chen, the co pilot, glanced at the huge billboard inserted on the ground. Shaq's driving skills were quite good, and he could relax a bit without having to prepare to jump at any time. How much further is it? Why don't you shut up for me? Su Yu Chen let out an O oh, and felt a series of misfortunes brought by himself. The road cracked and forced to change lanes, a car accident occurred and forced to wait for 20 minutes, a tree on the roadside broke and fell, and the bear child suddenly jumped out of the sidewalk. Shaq avoided all the sudden situations, but his heart couldn't escape the increasingly irritable mood. Say, is it your accomplice, this bastard? Shaq glared fiercely at Su Yuchen. How else can we explain so many situations along the way? It's definitely this guy's accomplice trying to save him. So, even if he is not an unregistered vampire who recently committed a crime, he is definitely a dangerous member of a certain organization. Only dangerous individuals will resort to any means to destroy public property and use children to rescue their accomplices. I say it's all by chance, do you believe it? Bah! I believe you're a ghost. Shaq observed and listened in all directions. I want to see when your accomplices will jump in front of me. Here we go. Suddenly, there was a darkness in front of him. Shaq slammed on the brake and stared at the huge red cloth flying from somewhere that covered the windshield. He opened the door with a gun in one go. Get out of here. Shaq, holding a gun, looked around cautiously as there were no control measures in this area where vampires were not involved in the crime. Therefore, there were no nighttime restrictions in this area. At this moment, the surrounding vehicles and pedestrians on the sidewalk saw this situation and quickly stopped in place, nervously staring around. Is there a dangerous molecule? I'm sorry, sir police officer. I'm really sorry, the slightly overweight middle. Aged man ran over and apologized, bowing. Our hotel is preparing to open tomorrow and we were about to cover the plaque when a gust of wind blew the red cloth over. I'm really sorry. Shaq's mouth twitched as he stared at the bastard, taking a few deep breaths to suppress his inner anger. Take it away, he said, take it now, take it now, I'm really sorry. Get back on the road. When will they take action? All of them were unexpected events. Pretend, continue pretending to me. Shaq looked at him angrily. When we reach the mechanism, I insist that you spit out all your comrades. No one believed the truth, so I decided not to tell it. 
Su Yuchen looked out the window and saw the entrance of the Demon Trial Mechanism unit. He kindly reminded, it's time to slow down. Shaq's breathing was heavy, his eyes were about to glow red, and the bad luck along the way completely eroded all his patience. You're so closed. Shu. A sharp friction sound, the right front tire burst, and the vehicle spun towards the security room at the main entrance of the mechanism. Do you want to save him in the most dangerous place? Shaq guessed, controlling the out-of-control car with outstanding driving skills. Bang! After paying the price for the broken right front headlight, the police car came to a steady stop. Kicking open the car door with one foot, Shaq looked around with a gun on his guard, as if facing a formidable enemy. Shaq, what happened? The guards in the guard room quickly ran out and looked around vigilantly, seeing his appearance. Although the order of Sky City is good, due to its special nature in the human world, there are also many incidents of destruction. However, despite being vigilant for a long time, nothing happened Shaq, what are you doing? Exercise Shaq glanced at Su Yuchen in the car and slowly put away his gun. This guy is a dangerous person, related to the recent vampire incident. There have been unknown forces trying to save him all the way, and the tire explosion is definitely related to them. That's a big fish. Pay attention to the surroundings. After reporting to the board of directors, I will personally interrogate him and insist that he reveal all the secrets he knows. Shaq put away his gun and went to the co-pilot. He opened the door and looked at Su Yu Chen with a relaxed expression on his face. He couldn't help but feel angry and said, get off. Su Yu Chen got off the car and glanced at the damaged right car headlight, then, tisk. Although I am always plagued by misfortune, it is fortunate that it cannot kill me. If a person with a fragile soul has such a constitution, they will be tormented to the point of madness, right? Demon Judging Mechanism, Interrogation Room In the interrogation room without windows, the lights were dazzling and dazzling. Su Yu Chen ignored the orders from the interrogators across from him to open his eyes and simply answered their questions. Name Su Yu Chen The interrogator was not Shaq. He first reported to a deputy director on duty. At this time, the interrogator picked up Su Yu Chen's phone after asking for his name and writing it on the interrogation record. With his thumb and index finger kneading the chains of the handcuffs, Su Yu Chen was recalling all the details from meeting to parting with Christia. From the moment she said, Is it okay for my sister to take you to do bad things? The unfortunate event never happened again like a crash. Recalling the details of the conversation with Christina, until she truly showed her determination to kill herself. Her hand unfortunately hit the corner of the trash can and cut a hole. Is it related to her inner attitude towards me? Will there still be physical contact as a condition to distinguish between getting me and killing me? Or is it okay to just stay together why can contact with her reduce the frequency of unfortunate events? Is it related to her inner attitude, or is it also related to my inner attitude, can we reduce the frequency of misfortune only when we are with her, or can we also be with others? I already know her identity, so I can use it to verify first. Pretend not to know her identity to study. Having determined her inner plan, Su Yu Chen kicked her feet and retreated with her chair, avoiding a tile that had fallen from the ceiling. Click. The interrogators frowned and looked at the broken tiles, indicating that the unit needed to be renovated. Ignoring Su Yu Chen, he looked at the emergency contact person on his phone and thought for a moment, but still couldn't reach them. Shaq wants to personally interrogate, which is the entire process. If he takes his own initiative, that guy's temper will definitely vent on him. So he put his phone back on the desktop and looked around bored. Dong Ju, along the way, he kept trying to save this human. Guy, so even if he's not a vampire or a blood attendant, he must be a dangerous member of some organization. I suggest using special means to uncover all his secrets. The obese director squinted his eyes and said, what's his name? Let me ask. My name is Su Yuchen. 
you go to the trial first, don't go too far. Yes. Su Yu Chen. The board sighed and said, sleeping doesn't even allow people to sleep well. He sat up straight and entered the three words Su Yu Chen on the internal website. Then, the landline rang rapidly. Su Yu Chen, currently residing in Dingxin community, family members unknown. What are you doing here in Sky City? I've already mentioned before, going to college. The questioning and answering in the interrogation room is still in a relatively peaceful atmosphere for the time being. It's only been a week since I moved here, where did you, an 18 year old young man, have the money to buy a $2 million house? Bang! Sheikh Meng patted the table and the bulldog's fierce gaze glared fiercely at Su Yu Chen, saying, Kid, don't underestimate the strength of the Sky City Police. Tell me, what exactly is your identity? What is the purpose of sneaking into Sky University? Are you a blood attendant of the Blood Clan or a dangerous member of other organizations? Su Yu Chen, the profession is a student. You're tough, I won't give you any pain to eat. Are you? Ka. The door of the interrogation room was pushed open. Director, why did you come over? At the main entrance of the police station, the board of directors, with a beer belly, looked at Su Yu Chen with a smile and said, Su Yu Chen, I'm really sorry. Since I'm from a special department, you should have told me earlier. I just searched for your name in the internal database, and the special agency of Chang'an called and said, Are our people on your side? It really scared me. Please don't worry about the misunderstanding caused, uh. -huh. After speaking, he gave Shaq a look of displeasure. Before the anger in his heart could be vented, the vent in his hand ran away. Shaq's face was gloomy, and he forced a terrifying smile, saying, I'm sorry, I really didn't expect. The tone paused for a moment, as Su Yu Chen completely ignored his apology. Shaq's tone continued to ring, with a hint of mockery. You're actually a dog from Chang'an Kingdom. Don't talk nonsense. The board kicked Shaq. What's the matter? Shaq remained noncommittal. Isn't it just a dog? Aren't you? I am a real dog, but as a human, he is also a dog. Hee <laughs> hee. There are still many dogs like him in this city. You can talk to anyone else, but he can't. The friendly smile on Dong's face narrowed down a bit. Although Chang'an Kingdom is only a vassal kingdom with a different surname under the Xianqing Empire, nowadays it is one of the most chaotic vassal states in the Xianqing Empire, especially Her Royal Highness the Queen, it's amazing. How amazing can a little girl be? In this era, it is most important not to judge people based on their age. The board of directors gave Shaq a serious glance and said, pay more attention to the news of Her Royal Highness the Queen and you will know how excellent she is. Shaq smiled noncommittally and said, Director, I'll continue patrolling. Hmm. The board nodded, thankfully checking through the internal network in advance, otherwise there would have been a bit of trouble afterwards. This Sky City is indeed an independent special zone city that does not belong to the territory or jurisdiction of any country. But in a sense, not belonging to anything equals belonging to anything. Because of balance, Fong does not belong to any country. End of this chapter. Why do you curse your brother as a dog in chapter 6? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Why do you curse your brother as a dog in chapter 6? Brother, the most. Before the three words, like you, at the end of the exclusive phone ringtone sounded, Su Yu Chen skillfully reached into his pocket and pressed the answer button to avoid the strange gaze of passersby. Even though there were not many pedestrians on the road. Taking out his phone, Su Yu Chen spoke helplessly as he walked, Yushi, to be honest, let me change this exclusive ringtone. Others will treat me as a pervert. It's okay. A pleasant voice sounded, even if it's a pervert, I wouldn't mind my brother. Brother, don't think about secretly changing the ringtone. If I find out, I will remotely implant a virus into your phone so that you can't turn off the ringtone. 
Entering university, if classmates hear their sister's personally recorded phone ringtone, they will definitely die. As a normal person, this situation is absolutely not allowed to occur. I won't change it, Su Yu Chen said helplessly, making up his mind to be constantly alert to the possibility of the brother opening bell ringing on his phone. Brother, you're so good. After a happy laugh like a silver bell, Su Yushi's voice suddenly became fierce. Why was your brother taken to the demon judgment mechanism in the middle of the night? Did you fight with monsters or mixed race creatures for some pretty girl? Did you play a rogue role with a non-human beauty senior sister? Or did you go to an unscrupulous club to find? Stop and stop. Su Yu Chen quickly interrupted her casting, please maintain confidence in your brother's character. Humph who knows. Su Yushi snorted softly, a senior sister who can flirt with younger students, a cute beast ear mother, a beautiful young woman with outstanding waist skills. Stop. Su Yu Chen interrupted her casting again, is there anything else I need to say? Brother, are you impatient with me? Su Yushi's voice increased by a few decibels. Brother, are you so unwilling to talk to your lovely sister? You've only been to Sky City for a week and you've changed. If you continue to stay, won't you forget your lovely sister? Su Yu Chen took her phone away from her ear and listened quietly to her decreasing voice, brother. Are you angry? Su Yushi, who only heard the sound of breathing, cautiously asked. No, Su Yu Chen responded promptly. I just want to hear your voice more, after all, the next time I come home, I may have to celebrate the Chinese New Year. He he I knew my brother was the best. Su Yushi breathed a sigh of relief and his tone returned to a relaxed tone. I have to wait for a long time before returning home for the Chinese New Year. Can I go see my brother during the mid-autumn festival? Princess, you have already arranged your itinerary to attend the mid-autumn festival banquet in the imperial capital. Got it. Although he couldn't see it, Su Yu Chen had already imagined the cute look of Yushi's muffled lips, and a smile couldn't help but rise from the corner of his mouth. One weekend, maybe I'll go back. Really? I knew my brother would definitely miss me too. By the way, by the way, Su Yushi continued, I have entered my brother's information into the database of cold cicada, so that others can only find out that you are a member of the special agency, and I don't know you are my brother, hee <laughs> hee. The police there must be surprised to know that you are from a special agency, right? I really want to see their shocked expressions. Who made you so excellent and handsome, brother? You're overthinking it, Su Yu Chen smiled and steadied his almost fallen body while stepping on a banana peel. They said I'm a dog. Pop. The sound of tapping the table. Who? Who is it? Su Yushi's angry voice rang out, which bastard cursed his brother. It's the deputy director surnamed Dong. He's tired of living, isn't he? Dare to curse his brother. He's the dog. It's not him, Su Yuchen said with a smile as he defended his brother's sister, who was the most likable. He's a vice captain of orcs, a dog orc. He's a real dog. Why do you call your brother a dog? Su Yushi became even angrier. Brother, how about cooking him? Don't just want to kill someone. He's not a human, he's just a mixed race. Su Yushi said disdainfully, those who curse at my brother should be punished. Su Yu Chen glanced at the entrance of the alley ahead and squinted his eyes slightly. Calm down, this kind of small matter is not a big deal. All right, I'll go home first. Can you chat with them for a while? Haven't you seen your brother for a week? Su Yushi said coquettishly. Didn't we just video it yesterday noon? The video is not real, and we only talked for less than 10 minutes. Can we video chat with you after tomorrow's class meeting? Hmm. I'll reluctantly agree, Su Yushi snorted lightly. Brother. Hmm. Send me the roster of your class then. Why do you want that thing? Don't do anything, Su Yushi said in a cheerful tone. 
Just help my brother investigate if there are any suspicious people around him. Okay, Su Yu Chen agreed without much thought. Hee hee, that's settled then. Su Yu Shi snorted softly, brother, I'll see you on video tomorrow. Okay. After hanging up the phone, Su Yu Chen smiled silently, daring to bear with his sister's concern for, crossing the line, for only one reason. My younger sister is not my biological sister, it's a fake orthopedic. However, my younger sister doesn't know this secret. In the eastern continent, north of the Xianqing Empire, the capital of Chang'an, Wang'an City. In the elegantly decorated bedroom, the girl has a delicate appearance, with a fair and greasy skin that is tinged with light red. There are two cute dimples on her cheeks, and her eyes are clear and bright. Thick black hair was draped loosely over the shoulders, revealing a small and delicate earlobe that was as fair and round as jade. A simple and elegant light yellow long skirt outlines the well-developed and graceful figure of a suitable age girl, delicate and charming. Su Yushi, the princess of Chang'an Kingdom in the northern border of the Xianqing Empire. Taking two steps back, Su Yushi lay on the soft big bed, holding his phone to his chest and smiling like a flower. Yushi, to be honest, let me. What is playing on the phone is a recording of Su Yuchen's voice during the call just now. Recording is indeed soulless. After playing it again, Su Yushi said with some regret, Ah. I really want to sink that city into the sea so that my brother doesn't have to go. Princess, the maid whispered, should we send the cold cicada to kill the orcs who insulted his highness? No need, Su Yushi pouted and turned his head to look at the space window on the desktop. The screen was pitch black, and the faintly visible image was of a large bed in a certain bedroom. I'm here to see how persistent that fox spirit is towards her brother. Immediately, she looked at the dark screen and said with a hint of melancholy, it's been ten years since we last met, why hasn't our relationship faded? I really shouldn't have entrusted my brother to that fox spirit to take care of, that failed decision. End of this chapter Chapter 7 A woman who does not uphold her brother is not worthy of being my sister. In law, you are listening at novel full. Audio. Chapter 7 a woman who does not uphold her brother is not worthy of being my sister. In law in the alley. It's not here either, where exactly did it get lost? As she was getting ready to go to bed, Christina, who couldn't find her graduate certificate, squatted in the alley with a distressed expression on her face, her chin propped up on the back of her hand and said, Don't be picked up by that dead virgin. If he finds her, it will be ruined. Not only have I been photographed with my real body, but if my graduate certificate is picked up again, my disguised appearance will also be seen. More importantly, the other party is still a freshman, and if they encounter them in school, they will be completely in a passive position, dead virgin. Christina gritted her teeth and still remembers the shame of that guy patting her buttocks. A mere human, who has humiliated their noble bloodline, deserves to be killed. But his blood is really good to drink. Christia couldn't help but lick her red lips again, and to this day, she still savors the delicious blood that doesn't matter even if she drinks it to death. Why does a human male have such delicious fresh blood? Not weak in strength, but also adept at handling. Where exactly did that dead virgin come from as a master? What do you want to do by pretending to be a new student? Ah ah ah. Don't be picked up by that virgin apprentice. After pulling her own hair, Christina let out a sigh and stood up, if you can't find it again, go back to sleep. The ancestors who slept in the river of blood, bless you not to be found by Su Yu Chen with my graduate certificate. Upon returning home, Su Yu Chen collapsed on the sofa, only to report that so much had happened on the first day. It was truly unfortunate. Su Yu Chen looked up at the ceiling, still pondering the various details of being with that vampire. This is an opportunity to save oneself from the unfortunate physique. Although I have been accustomed to various misfortunes that happened to me for 18 years, who would be willing to keep going through bad luck if possible? Growing up so big, it seems like only when I meet her. Su Yu Chen frowned and murmured with a hint of uncertainty. 
With a light sigh, he took out his graduate certificate from his pocket and held it up in front of him. Tia Yofei, it looks like a fake name. Among the upper clans of the Blood Clan, there is no Yufei clan, and the pure blood of that vampire is not something that the lower clans can possess. But knowing what you looked like in school, will eventually know your identity. Su Yuchen flicked her graduate student ID card and said, Senior graduate student, your intelligence must be very high. Let's play slowly. Throwing away my graduate certificate, I took out my phone, unlocked the screen, and received a seven-minute message when I first returned to the community. Frost. Did you go back? Tomorrow morning, I will familiarize you with the school. My younger sister is the best. No, the class meeting is in the afternoon, so I go to school in the afternoon. Is she so attentive? Thinking so, Su Yuchen, who replied to the message, was ready to put down his phone. Buzzing. The phone vibrated and touched a scabbed wound on the palm of the hand, causing fingers to slip and confusion. Bang. The phone still fell to the floor. I rolled my eyes and picked up my phone. Fortunately, the screen didn't break this time. Frost. The school is so big, can it work if you're not familiar with it? Also, you have to change your nickname, pervert. I'll reply in seconds, murmured Su Yu Chen as he began typing. My little sister is the most obedient. This is the name I finally fought for. Otherwise it would be a nickname like, my favorite little sister. If it were changed, she would definitely call me immediately. And then I have to stay up late. Frost. I took a screenshot, pervert. My younger sister is the best, my younger sister is the best. You haven't slept yet so late. Frost. I fell asleep. My little sister is the best. Oh, good night. Can't it really be sent to her, right? Su Yu Chen was a bit worried, thinking that it wasn't that he didn't like chatting with his sister, but she was too good at chatting. Sometimes chatting with her can be tiring. Forget it, forget it. I walked into the bedroom and turned on the lights, threw my phone on the bed, and walked towards the bathroom. After paying the price of falling and breaking my knee, I finally walked out of the bathroom. Charge your phone and lie in bed with peace of mind. Glancing at the bikini-wielding sword figurine on the headboard, she says, keep hitting me tonight, good night. Turn off the lights and go to sleep. Room 2001, 20th floor, Unit 2, Dingxing Community. Lying on the sofa, Xia Yushuang stared at the two words she entered in the input box on her phone screen, then deleted them. Goodbye in ten years, he's not as happy as I imagined. Shouldn't we have left quietly without saying goodbye to him at that time? Putting the phone on my chest, it suddenly vibrated and I quickly picked it up to see. It wasn't a message from Su Yuchen. It's Su Yushi. My older brother is the best. He was taken away by the demon judgment mechanism, don't you know? Looking at the message sent by Su Yushi, Xia Yushuang's expression remained unchanged, but the thoughts in her mind were exactly opposite to her expressionless expression. I really don't know, but being taken away by the authorities is not a good thing. Why is she still quite proud? Are you proud that you know and I don't when I was a child, I thought she was too clingy to her brother. Ten years no see, it seems even worse Frost. He has already returned. My older brother is the best. He has gone back. Su Yushi, lying on the bed, looked at the message marked as Fox Spirit and muttered softly, You don't live with your brother again. Why use the phrase, You're back, to make it seem like you're cohabiting, so you won't be allowed to live with your brother? Thinking of what she had done to her brother in the Sky City for a week, she was a bit angry and cursed Fox Spirit. My older brother is the best. You don't know that my brother was scolded as a dog, do you? Su Yushi continued typing. My older brother is the best. First, discriminate against him as an oriental dog, and then curse him as a running dog, damn mixed race. The more he wrote, Mr. Su Yushi became angry and dared to curse his brother. 
why curse my brother? A mixed-race dog full of discrimination in the hearts of Westerners and monsters. Taking a deep breath to ease the anger in his heart, Suyushi sent out the typed words. Humph, a woman who doesn't wholeheartedly defend her brother is not worthy to be with him, and I won't admit that you are my sister. In law. Those who insult their brother with malicious intent are all bastards. Under the bedside light, Suyushi's delicate face had a cruelty that did not match her age. Author Mushroom Sick Sister, Do You Like It? End of this chapter Chapter 8 If Only You Can't Wake Up You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 8 If Only You Can't Wake Up Bang Shaq forcefully threw the wine bottle in his hand onto the ground, with fragments splattering. The human couple standing opposite shook their hearts. I said you were speeding, so you were speeding. How dare you have any objections? One night, Shaq, who was troubled, drank heavily under the pretext of patrolling. In order to express his frustration, he stopped a normally driving car with his ID card, and then brought the Tianzhao Gongrongua couple into the alley to teach them a lesson. Shaq, who was clearly drunk, suddenly took a step and said, put it down. Put my phone down. He snatched the man's phone and glanced at the image being recorded on the screen, saying, oh, how dare you still record a video. Take a photo. I asked you to record a video. Human, come, record again. Damn it, just like the dog we caught today, a small country without any sovereignty has set up a special agency and set it up, damn it. A mere dog is still so majestic. It's just a dog wielding power. When I reach a higher official position, I must see how many barking dogs there are in this city, and how disgusting you humans are on the streets every day. Sooner or later, we will turn this city into our mixed race world. You stop, don't hit. Please don't hit, we'll pay a fine. You are abusing your power. Little beauty, whether I abused my power or not is not up to you the final say. Shaq paused and looked at the man lying on the ground hugging his right leg, completely losing his sanity. Damn it. He forcefully pulled out his right leg and then stomped on it, causing the woman to scream and pounce, trying to protect her husband. She successfully prevented Shaq from stepping on his right leg, and without much thought, quickly grabbed her husband and ran towards the outside of the alley, praying that this damn law enforcement officer wouldn't come after her. I really didn't catch up. Because at this moment, Shaq found that his legs were frozen by frost and unable to move. Who? Get out of here, you. Shaq's irritable voice suddenly came to an end, as a magical circle appeared in his sight that made him feel the pressure of terror. Who? Don't. 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 Shio Shio Shio, countless frost shot out like sharp blades, each hole wearing Shaq's massive body. Blood splattered and covered the walls and floors. Shake like a sieve. Poo 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 ah. Row, row. Poop. His mouth and throat are pierced. Only the sound of frost streaking through the air remained, and his body grew smaller and smaller, to the extent that it had been hard washed into foam by the frost. It rotted into a mess. Zizi zizi. Frost covered all the fresh blood and foam, and the evening breeze blew without leaving any trace. Living Room The summer frost in front of the French window put down his right hand and drew the curtain back. Damn him! A lowly mixed race, why curse him? What breakfast will you prepare tomorrow morning? Turn off the lights and go to bed. The east spits white, and the morning rises. The door has opened. In the sound of the door's safety opening, Xia Yushuang withdrew her right hand and opened the door, entering the room. Closing the door, Xia Yushuang skillfully took out her own slippers from the shoe cabinet and put them on. She stood up straight, her ice blue eyes slightly narrowed, and took a deep breath, it took a long time to slowly exhale the inhaled air. The living room is filled with a familiar atmosphere, with no other unnecessary smells. Taking a step forward, the hem of the navy blue checkered skirt swayed gently, 
and a pair of straight and slender legs resembling white jade were wrinkled and shimmered under the rising sunlight, creating a slight wave of flesh. Push open the bedroom door, ding ling 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 ling. Xia Yushuang walked over and picked up the phone she had bought for him. She set a total of eight alarms, and now it's the eighth one. The roaring alarm bell couldn't wake up the sweet Su Yuchen sleeping on the bed. Turning off the alarm clock, Xia Yushuang looked at Su Yuchen, who had one arm exposed and was holding a sword held beautiful girl's hand. There was no snoring and breathing was steady, but even so, at first glance, one would panic and feel like the guy on the bed had died. Because holding the left hand of the sword-wielding beauty girl, drops of blood dripped from the knuckles, forming red dots on the tile floor. There are dried black and red, as well as newly dripping bright red. Sleep perhaps there is also a fainting component, right? Xia Yushuang's expression did not change at all. She had become accustomed to the scene of sleeping soundly for seven consecutive days at night, being hit in the face by the handle on the headboard. When she woke up, she was too lazy to get up and just grabbed it directly, only to be stabbed by a long sword made of resin material. Accompanied by misfortune. Childhood sweethearts. Squatting down, she took out the bikini sword wielding beauty figurine from Su Yuchen's hand and placed it on the bedside table. Looking at the wound in his palm, she gently covered it with her own hand. Wound healing. Even though it's bleeding, I still fall asleep heartlessly. Xia Yushuang stared at Su Yuchen's sleeping face, thinking as she gently kneaded his left hand. The cold-toned face, illuminated by the sunlight passing through the cracks, added a soft halo. Finally, she withdrew her gaze and tucked Su Yuchen's left hand back into the blanket. Xia Yushuang got up and walked out of the bedroom into the kitchen, tying her apron and preparing breakfast for today. Where is the kitchen knife and where is the frying pan? She is very familiar with everything in the kitchen because she arranges the kitchen utensils. Although familiar, the warmth of being at home was completely imperceptible to her, as the heat rising from the frying pan and being sucked away by the range hood contrasted sharply with her cold-toned expression. Quickly prepared breakfast, served it to the table, took off her apron, washed her hands, and returned to the bedroom. Su Yuchen's sleeping posture remained the same as before, even the curvature of the quilt remained almost unchanged. His tense body relaxed slightly, and for the past half hour, he was not injured by anything strange. However, there is basically no change or a slight change, such as the angle that Xia Bei did not have when he first came in. Xia Yushuang moved her fingers and finally clenched her fists, her gaze returning to Su Yuchen's face. Staring for a while, she slowly leaned down. Under the navy blue checkered short skirt, the graceful and round thighs and slender and smooth calves are straight together. With the forward leaning movement of the body, the skirt hem moves up and adheres to the thighs, showing a graceful and graceful curve of the buttocks and legs. Her ice blue long hair, which was over her shoulders and the same as her eyes, hung down. She brushed it behind her ear with her fingers, and the sunlight illuminated the tiny dust in the air, faintly rendering her cheeks a shallow halo with a slight movement of his eyebrows, Su Yu Chen gradually regained consciousness and smelled a faint lotus-like aroma. Open your eyes. My gaze shifted upwards and met a pair of ice-blue eyes. It's a bit cold. Are you awake? The familiar and plain tone. Can be heard every day during the week of coming to this city. Oh, I'm awake. Same answer as every day before. Xia Yushuang straightened up and looked at him with a cold face, if only you couldn't wake up. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Narcissistic and Poisonous Tongue of Childhood Sweethearts, Recommended for Collection, You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Narcissistic and Poisonous Tongue of Childhood Sweethearts, Recommended for Collection and Follow.up Reading, If Only You Couldn't Wake Up Although we haven't seen each other for ten years, we can still be considered childhood sweethearts. Is it okay to just curse me early in the morning? It's still a week in a row. Sitting up, Su Yuchen stretched lazily and said, You're not tired of it, 
I'm a bit tired of listening. Are you tired of it? Xia Yuxuan cocked her head and said, Yes, you can't be tired of it unless you sleep with a beautiful girl, right, perverted anime otaku. I don't deny that I like anime, and I don't deny that I'm a bit curmudgeonly, but where can I start with the word abnormal? Dot. Sleeping with the figurine in hand like a doll, isn't it to feel the softness of a bikini sword wielding girl's figurine? Xia Yuxuan glanced at the figurine on the bedside table and said, You're already very abnormal. I am clearly a living person in front of me. I don't want to either. Who made her throw me in the face? He he. After laughing like reading words, because it was your sister who gave it to you, so the baby was placed on the headboard like a baby. It's even more perverted, girl control pervert. Why don't you tell her? Su Yu Chen looked at her with some anticipation, she insisted that I put it on the headboard of the bed and take photos every day to send proof. Why did you take out your phone? Record and send it to your sister. Su Yu Chen rolled his eyes and said, Look at you, can you still have a pleasant conversation? Have a pleasant conversation. Xia Yuxuang scanned Su Yu Chen, who was naked in his upper body. It's surprising that talking to this beautiful woman in her upper body would be enjoyable. Your abnormal index is increasing every day. You guy. Before Su Yu Chen could finish speaking, Xia Yuxuang interrupted, it's impolite to call the beautiful senior sister who prepares breakfast for you every day, you guy, dot. Don't you also speak ill of me? How could you be too embarrassed to say that I'm impolite? Hmm. Seeing Xia Yuxuang's suggestion of sending the screenshot of last night to your sister, on her phone, Su Yu Chen decisively changed her tone and said, so what do you call it? From today on, call me, Sister Xia, sir. Still an adult. Are you S? Su Yu Chen asked, looking at the navy blue school uniform she was wearing. Sky University has a school uniform. Very ceremonial, but for the sake of the beautiful school uniform, I don't want to complain about it. At this moment, Xia Yuxuang took two small steps back, her arms wrapped around her chest, her chin slightly raised, her tone still cold, and her eyes showed a hint of pride. Indeed, she is abnormal. She looked at my beautiful senior sister's figure early in the morning and said. Although you can't see through your clothes, my senior sister's body unexpectedly has a legal value, so please don't look at it with your eyes casually. Su Yu Chen stared straight at her icy blue eyes and remained silent. Xia Yuxuang's fingers exerted a little force and said, Can't you understand? To put it in layman's terms, if you pull me to bed early in the morning, as you are in good health, I will knock you unconscious and imprison you as soon as possible. I will make you confess the rest of your life in the basement, so you won't be able to run anywhere. I'm so panicked. But grandma didn't say that men are just creatures who enjoy being scolded, and the more they scold, the more they can't do without you. You also say that the higher and colder a man is, the more he licks you. Isn't grandma lying to me? Summer Yuxuang remained calm on the surface, but felt anxious inside. Because of her grandmother's words, she learned the skill of poison tongue. Shouldn't she have clicked the wrong skill? Oh. If it fails, grandma, you have to take responsibility. In my wild thoughts, I heard Su Yuchen's voice, run, where can I go? And. Lynching is not advisable, it's illegal. Su Yuchen spoke slowly, not believing she would do so. And even though your perfect figure has been highlighted through your clothes, there's no need to emphasize it in such a long paragraph. Upon hearing this, Xia Yuxuang relaxed his fingers on his arm and praised me, indicating that everything was okay. Just as he was about to speak, Su Yu Chen continued, Moreover, I am so lawed out abiding that even if you sleep in bed, I won't touch you. In an instant, Xia Yuxuang pressed her arm tightly again and let out a soft tisk. Why are you smacking your lips? It's really a anime curtilage man. Did you watch an unknown film last night and let yourself go? Why did you hear voices when you were young? Su Yuchen blinked, 
how could his tongue suddenly become even more venomous? Looking away from her face, Su Yuchen shifted the topic and said, where should I handle it? Is the figurine given by my sister more important? Summer Frost, Tisk, again. Did you, TSK, again? Xia Yuxuang raised her right hand and stroked the hair on her cheek behind her ear, saying, Please quickly cover your body with clothes that may have exposure fetish, and then come out for breakfast to replenish her energy. Perhaps the symptoms of hallucinations will be slightly better. The skirt fluttered, and the plump thighs swayed slightly with flesh waves. Xia Yuxuang walked out of the bedroom. This guy. Looking back at her figure, Su Yuchen lifted the blanket and glanced at her. After muttering, I'm doing well, he put the bikini sword wielding beauty figurine back on the bedside table and began to dress. When he pulled his pants up to his knees and was about to get out of bed, he glanced at the ground and saw nothing that would hurt him if he stepped on it. So, carefully getting out of bed and standing up, dong. I tripped over my pants and knelt on the floor. Sure enough. Still so unlucky. There is no reason. The hurried footsteps rang out in the next second, and Xia Yuxuang, who had run back, quickly helped him up while nervously checking if he had fallen, but his mouth refused to spare anyone, how many times a night can one fail to stand firm the next day? Xia Xuejia, you will have no friends like this. Su Yuchen looked at Xia Yuxuang, who was as nervous as her mother every time she fell or had other misfortunes. If you want to help, don't keep being so sarcastic. Now that proud and poisonous tongue have withdrawn from the market, she said, is that so? Xia Yuxuang glanced at him suspiciously. Grandma had clearly said that Su Yuchen had become accustomed to poisonous tongues due to misfortune, so the more he did this, the more he would like and get used to it. In the end, he reached a state where he couldn't hear poisonous tongues and would still miss them. Su Yuchen rolled his eyes and was helped to stand up by her. Then he heard Xia Yuxuang's uncertain tone say again, You don't even lift your pants in front of me, a beautiful woman. You're really a pervert. Oh, you don't really want to be perverted with me, do you? Su Yuchen gave her another white eye and silently lifted her pants to put them on. Surprisingly not refuting me indicates that I have become accustomed to it. Is the next step inseparable from me, I said, shouldn't you be like this at school? How could it be? I only treat you this way. Wow, it's even worse. Su Yu Chen gave her another white eye and said, is that why I'm so special to you? Unexpectedly, Xia Yuxuang did not retort with a sharp tongue. Instead, she snorted lightly and turned to leave the bedroom. Leaving Su Yuchen's gaze, she lowered her head, her icy blue eyes fixed on her right hand, with a hint of warmth still lingering on it. Only today was when I fell out of bed. How long has it been since I hugged him so intimately? Sakura's pink lips gently wriggled, her right hand lifted slightly, and her left hand gradually embraced her right hand. The lines in her palms gradually connected in her gaze, murmuring, of course you are special to me. What are you doing standing here for? Xia Yuxuang immediately put down her hands and cleared her throat with slightly red cheeks. Guess what? Sorry, I can't guess your thoughts. Call me, senior sister, dot. Yes, yes, I can't guess my senior sister's thoughts. Xia Yuxuang glanced at him and wondered why he couldn't guess so easily. Do you still treat me like a childhood sweetheart? I have grown up and my figure is still so good, and I have followed my grandmother's instructions. Why didn't you knock me down? With a lingering summer frost, I arrived at the dining table and began to dine. Su Yuchen walked over and gently pulled open his chair to sit down, turning his head to look out the sunny window. After ten years of not seeing each other, Xia Yuxuang, a childhood sweetheart, grew up to become a narcissistic and sarcastic beauty senior. Is it not to the taste? Xia Yuxuang glanced at Su Yu, who was still holding his chopsticks, and said, If you don't eat late again, are you planning to be named by the discipline committee on the first day of school? Her voice caught Su Yuchen's attention and looked at Xia Yuxuang's cold and aloof face, teasing him, 
are you caring about me? Guess what? I think it's like this. Don't speak harshly anymore. Listening to his voice, Xia Yushuang's eyes lit up. Has she started to get used to her venomous tongue? Grandma is right, isn't she seeing Xia Yushuang feeling a bit restless, Su Yu Chen quickly said, stop and stop, don't talk, just be a cold and beautiful senior. Do I have to say it? Then I have to ask you, who did you learn poisonous tongue from? Isn't it like this when you were a child? Guess what? Don't guess. He he. Xia Yushuang looked at Su Yu Chen and said, Do you think I'm surprised by my venomous tongue? A bit, but it's just appropriate. If we don't talk about it, the breakfast you make every day is what I like to eat. If anyone marries you in the future, they will definitely be very happy, Su Yu Chen said with a smile. Is it appropriate? Xia Yushuang was lost in thought but more thoughts were overjoyed by his praise afterwards, so she snorted softly, hurry up and finish it. I have classes in the second class. As she lowered her head to eat, she thought to herself, Grandma seems quite right when she said he likes to have a sharp tongue. What he just said about retreating from the environment must be a proud and coquettish statement. Su Yu Chen let out a, hmm, although she didn't know how she developed into a venomous tongue her liking for being praised by herself remained unchanged. Forget it, just use the tongue poison point. Who makes Xia Yushuang a beauty? More importantly, she is a senior student. The identity of a senior sister is a very commendable point for Su Yuchen. Of course, it should be emphasized that he is not M. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Other Women's Things in the Family Graduate Certificate You Are Listening at NovelFull.Audio Chapter 10 Other Women's Things in the Family Graduate Certificate Breakfast is abundant and dining time is long. It's not because of too much preparation, but because Su Yu Chen, who was accompanied by misfortune, has a much higher probability of choking to death than a normal person, not to mention eating. So his eating speed is very slow, even more so than chewing slowly. Xia Yushuang, who had already finished breakfast, stared at Su Yu Chen with a slightly distressed expression in her eyes and said, It's hard for you to live until now. It's not hard. Su Yu Chen swallowed the fried egg in his mouth and smiled, I don't know what others think, and I have no right to interfere. But for me, living is a great happiness, so whether it's hard or not, I will work hard to survive. Xia Yushuang gazed at him and although he had often experienced misfortune from childhood to adulthood, whether it was ten years ago or now that he had reunited, he had never felt the emotion of pessimism in him. In her heart, Su Yu Chen is really remarkable. A smile spread at the corner of the mouth, but quickly restrained. Did you just smile? You're dizzy. Smiling is so beautiful. Su Yu Chen shrugged his shoulders. By the way, she's so cold. Do she have any friends at school? You don't have to wait for me, Su Yu Chen took a sip of milk and said, I'm planning to schedule a class meeting time to go to school. After a pause, he added, I'll come wash the dishes later. My second class is at 9.30, it's only after 7 o'clock now, Xia Yushuang said lightly. And if you want to wash dishes, it's not a big deal to break a few bowls. Staying the sink red is what's called panic, unfortunately, Junior. So in order to avoid the occurrence of a tragedy of excessive blood loss, I'd better watch over you. Don't say it's like I can't live without you, I've persevered through all these years. You misunderstood. Xia Yushuang looked at him and said, I was trying to avoid this house becoming a haunted house due to the death of a person, causing the entire building to move out of here, and then the entire community would become a dead city, with no one living in it. How could it be so exaggerated? I don't think it's an exaggeration on you, and your sister has asked me to take care of you. Su Yu Chen rolled his eyes and spoke arrogantly, showing such concern for me, forget it, just don't understand. He was born with unfortunate companionship, and without solving this problem, he was not prepared to have deep emotional communication with others. 
It was originally my own misfortune, but I would also fall into it due to her people's help. If I can bear it, why bother her people? He thought of Tia's senior again, if he could find a way from her to stop being unfortunate, looking at Su Yuchen silently eating breakfast, Xia Yuxuang tilted her head and said, Are you angry? I'm sorry. How could you be angry about chatting with a beautiful senior sister so happily? Su Yuchen glanced at her and said, Would you still apologize? Seeing him not angry, Xia Yuxuang relaxed and leaned back in her chair, saying, I'm just showing off my manners. I'm a polite senior. Wow, great. Praise you. Su Yuchen clapped his hands. Xia Yuxuang squinted as she looked at Su Yuchen, her graceful figure leaning on the back of the chair seemingly digesting the good mood of seeing him play with treasure. I saw another side of him. Without further ado, Su Yuchen slowly finished his breakfast. As soon as she put down her chopsticks, Xia Yuxuang stood up and came to him to tidy up the utensils. Su Yuchen withdrew his hand and leaned back. He hadn't seen her for ten years, and his childhood sweetheart's figure had developed quite beautifully. If he didn't withdraw his hand, he would definitely touch the more eye. Catching peaks when she bent down. The dark navy color should not be so obvious, which is really great. The ice blue hair tips caressed the tip of the nose, and the scent is a bit like the fragrance of lotus, but it is lighter than the fragrance of lotus. Xia Yuxuang, who had tidied up the utensils, walked towards the sink. Su Yuchen withdrew his gaze and stood beside him, saying, I'm going to wash up. You slow down. Bang. Dong. At the moment of getting up, the heel directly hit the chair leg, making a loud noise. Hiss. Watching Su Yuchen lift one leg and look back at the injury, Xia Yuxuang's eyes twitched and the curve of her mouth quickly disappeared. I told you to slow down, so careless. I didn't listen to my senior sister, did I suffer? I'm already very slow, Su Yuchen breathed a sigh of relief as he realized he hadn't scratched his skin. It's just that it doesn't make sense. Helping up the chair and arranging it properly, Su Yuchen was about to continue to the bathroom when Xia Yuxuang spoke up, when I finish washing the dishes, I'll accompany you. Hmm. This way you don't have to clean your bloodstains. No need. Su Yuchen waved his hand and said, there won't be anything wrong in the short term. Even if there is, I can handle it well. Your words will make me feel useless. Looking at Su Yuchen walking into the bathroom, Xia Yuxuang whispered, relying on others doesn't mean it's useless. How many people don't even have objects to rely on? Besides relying on me. Xia Yuxuang turned around and began to quickly clean the utensils. In the bathroom, Su Yuchen picked up toothpaste and started brushing his teeth. The toothpaste was bought by Xia Yuxuang and tasted like lotus flowers. The fragrance is similar to that on her body. After brushing my teeth, I started washing my face. The facial cleanser was also bought by Xia Yuxuang, with a hint of lotus fragrance. How much do you really like lotus flowers? Su Yuchen, who roast, picked himself up. After cleaning the tableware, Xia Yuxuang glanced at the direction of the restroom, but there was still no significant movement. She sat down on the sofa and started organizing the books and snacks on the coffee table. The admission letter is no longer valid, my ID card, student ID card. Hmm. Summer Yuxuang's voice paused, just reported where the student ID came from. It's not a student ID yet, it's a graduate ID. Where did it come from? With a slight frown, Xia Yuxuang opened her graduate certificate and took a bareheaded photo of a beautiful senior with golden hair and eyes. Tia Yofei, female. Xia Yuxuang knows this name and is a well-known senior sister who was three years older than her. During her undergraduate studies, she served as the vice president of the school's student union. The problem is here. Why does Su Yuchen have her graduate certificate when the school is more than 10 kilometers away from here? When will it be available? Did he find it? 
or was it given to him by his senior sister? Did he already have contact with her at school when we reported yesterday? Xia Yushuang pursed her cherry pink lips. Whether she picked them up or touched them was not the most important thing, but the most important thing, other women's belongings appeared in this room. Close the graduate certificate and put it back in its original place. Xia Yushuang continued to tidy up the coffee table until Su Yuchen walked out of the bathroom and turned her head to look at him, Unlucky Junior, have you encountered any lucky things recently? Author Mushroom Thank you for Guan Guangong's recommendation, thank you. End of this chapter